Okay, next we're going to look at device control. Um, users these days are, are much more flexible in the way that they work. Um, they tend to have laptops. They may be using USB devices to, to move data around your organization or to take that data home. Uh, what device control allows you to do is to not necessarily stop them from doing that. You want to encourage them to be able to work flexibly, but you also want them to be secure. Um, and device control has all the elements to enable you to do that. Um, what we're going to do with uh, this demonstration is to create a very simple device control policy. Um, what that policy will allow us to do is report on devices, so to, so to see what's being plugged in. And then once we've got that information, what we'll then do is create a, a policy that will define how that's controlled. So first thing we'll do is to plug this USB device into this machine. And the policy here is set to block by default. So I plug the device in. Okay, so because the device was blocked, in the bottom right hand corner of the screen we see that Sophos alert bubble telling us that access to this particular device has been blocked. Of course that's only half the story, imagine I'm the user at this stage, I've plugged in a device that I want to use, it's telling me Sophos has blocked it, well what happens next? If I want to I could put a link in here to an email address, a link to a web page, some phone number information, whatever, so that I can contact whoever needs to be contacted in order to be able to then exempt that particular device. And here's the simple method for going about that. So here's the policy that I've created, and you can see removable storage in that policy is blocked. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an exemption for the device that I've just plugged in. So all I do to do that is click Add Exemption, and at this point it brings up a list of all of the devices that have been plugged in within the last eight hours and what the status of those was. So whether we blocked them, whether they were, whether they were allowed, um, and also the unique device ID for each device. Every single device that gets connected to a machine is unique and we identify that here with a, with a, with a number. So here's the device that I want to exempt. I select it in order to exempt it then choose exempt device. It then asks me, do I want to exempt only this device or do I want to exempt all devices of this particular type? So in this case, I'm going to choose to exempt this device only. I say okay to that, close the window, and now it shows that removable storage has some exemptions, and I click okay to apply that policy. At this point, once the policy applies, I don't need to reconnect the device or unplug it and plug it back in. As Soon as it's exempted and the policy applies, the uh, USB drive, here it appears as the E drive, automatically appears inside the browser. So that's Sophos Device Control, a simple and easy way of allowing, reporting and blocking attached devices.